Hello, viewers. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Muhammad Azul Haq, assistant teacher at Kishwe Gons Government Boys High School. I am working with you now, you know. In the last class, I told you something about uh, noun. Today, I would like to tell you uh, something more uh, about that very noun. And in the last class, I uh, told you uh, something about uh, namfa. Today, I am going to tell you uh, something about uh, genta, which is also included in uh, noun, you know. And <clears throat> what are this that I have written? Uh, uh, noun that is uh, genta, it is included in noun. Uh, you have already read many things of noun, you know, uh, and side by side, number and genta. Uh, there are some rules, you know. And uh, there are four kinds of number. What, what is uh, gender, you know? I have already told you. Gender is uh, the word that means uh, uh, common, masculine, feminine, or neuter. Uh, those are uh, uh, known as uh, gender. And there are four kinds of gender, you know. And I, I have written today uh, some uh, different types of uh, words uh, which are used uh, uh, every now and then. And you do well, you know. And um, we uh, 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 felt or uh, we faced some problem with those words. So I would like to clear uh, those words if you have a look. Uh, so that I have written Thai, which is common gender, you know, Thai. But this Thai may be uh, male or female, that means boy or son, masculine, and feminine, girl or daughter. Okay? In this way, Kaf, you know, uh, which is a, um, uh, another. Uh, Common gender, uh, it may be male or female. Uh, suppose a bullock, masculine, uh, and heifer is feminine. In this way, you know, deer is also common gender, and its masculine is herd or stag, and its uh, uh, feminine is roe or hind. Okay? In this way, uh, sheep, you know, and ram is masculine, and uh, ewe, ewe is feminine. Okay? And then pig, you know, pig, and its masculine is boar, and uh, feminine is so, okay? And fowl, you know, fowl, it is also known to us. Uh, fowl, and its uh, masculine is cock, and feminine is hen. And horse, you know, horse uh, is uh, common gender, but its masculine is stallion, and uh, feminine is bien, okay? And parents, you know, parents, we have parents, everybody as parents and parents uh, is uh, masculine is a uh, father and feminine is mother okay and person you know person person may be male or female man and ob okay in the same way uh, as the spouse okay a spouse is uh, male and female and uh, it's uh, male is husband and female is wife okay and often, you know, often the uh, boy or girl who has no uh, parents, and uh, that's why uh, often um, it may be male, uh, uh, that is a boy without parents, and its female is girl without uh, parents. Okay? And monarch, you know, uh, king, uh, its male is uh, feminine, uh, masculine is king or emperor, and its uh, feminine is queen or emperor. Okay. Those are the words which will help you a lot. So you should read this uh, properly so that you can use them in your communicative uh, life. Okay. Okay. Uh, dear learners, now uh, see another uh, chart, and uh, you will have some more uh, idea. See that there are some words uh, which. Uh, uh, can be used uh, when you use them then you have to use uh, before that word if you mean by that word may then you have to use the word may as prefix okay and if you mean by that word female then you have to use uh, that female as prefix I am showing you suppose bar bar male bar male bar or female bar. Female bar. Okay. 
in this way male or female prefix as prefix you have to use if you divide or if you uh, make them or mean them in different way okay if you mean bird that means then you have to use as a male then you have to use this male male bird or female bird male cat or female cat male gazi or female gazi gazi uh, means uh, both of the uh, a person should be a mate, but when you will separate them as male or female, then you have to use a male or female as prefix. Okay, suppose uh, male in enemy, female in enemy, male infant, female infant, male in with, female in with, male scholar, female scholar, male friend, female friend, or boyfriend or girlfriend, and then uh, male singer. Female singer, male student, female student, male teacher, female student. All the terms are known to us. After that, we should know how we separate them from male to female. Okay. And then uh, next, uh, so that only masculine. There are some words uh, which will be used. That is, those words will be used as only masculine. They can never be female. Okay, suppose chairman and co uh, coward and the captain, judge, knight, pass. Okay, chairman uh, uh, maybe used as female also, then it will be common. But uh, other words, other new uh, uh, always used as masculine. Okay, and see that only female, they are the words which. Uh, will be used as feminine. So that Amazon, Amazon, you know, uh, the middle meaning is Purush Bhavapanna Stridu. Okay, Purush Bhavapanna Stridu. And it is a, um, uh, a website also, a site where we can uh, browse or we can move about. And it is uh, available in our internet, you know. And uh, then Burunichi, uh, you know, Burunichi, Kalogeshi. Uh, and pocket, you know, another uh, is uh, something uh, idiot or stupid uh, women uh, that means dusto uh, strilo, flirt is also dusto strilo, and nurse shabika, and virgin, virgin, uh, you know, kumari, and then root, kritim lonchap strilo, root, okay. They, those are the words which will be used as only feminine. Okay. They can never be made. Okay. And then uh, next one. And uh, it is uh, male and pop. Both and both uh, can be used. Okay. So the chairman, president, lawyer, advocate, doctor. Okay. You can use them as male or you can use this uh, that word something like that. Pom. Okay. Chairman means maybe male or female. This chairman maybe male. Or female, okay? Or you can uh, think it is as baby, okay? And president also, lawyer also, advocate also, and doctor, okay? And um, I think uh, you will learn this. Um, uh, if you face any kind of problem, then you should go to your dictionary, and you will take the help from dictionary. Side by side, you will uh, learn the meaning, spelling also. Then you will see that how much you are going ahead. Okay. I am trying my level best to bridge your words, to enrich your word. The more word you will learn, you will see that English will be very easy to you. Okay. Now, uh, uh, come to the next chart. Okay. Elanas, uh, so that there are some other in-element words uh, which are included in gender and that means now. And uh, these words always uh, uh, be considered, will also be considered as male. Those inanimate words, and uh, actually uh, they are lifeless. Uh, they uh, have no life. Uh, that's why they are called as inanimate words. Okay, and male words. See that sun, that summer, winter, war, thunder, anger, fear, love, time. Those are the words which are used as male, uh, only for may, uh, manly characteristics. Manly characteristics, 
they, they show their uh, considered as main. Okay. In the same way, I see that uh, there are some words which have uh, uh, omenly uh, characteristics. That's why they are uh, considered as female uh, words. Female, uh, something like that. I say that uh, peace, hope, liberty, modesty, nature, art, moon, mercy, religion, justice, truth, church, night, sheep, train, plain, country. Those are the words which are uh, used as female. Okay, that's why uh, I think if you know those words, they will help you a lot and try to uh, know the meaning side by side. You will uh, try to know the pronunciation and other parts of this words. Okay, uh, why I am giving you those words? I am giving you those words if you learn them properly and when you will go to use or try to fill up any uh, gap filling, then those words will help you a lot. Side by side, your uh, stock of words will be enriched. The more you will enrich your uh, stock of words, the more English will be easy to you. Okay? And that's all from uh, me today. Uh, more while we uh, talk uh, later on. Thank you very much.